Today, I'm gonna to take you through a basic introduction to the sit-down counterbalance forklift like the one you see here. Okay, coming to the side here, I've got the, uh, the drive wheel, right? The sidewall, the tread, this is a nice new tire. This particular unit has a capacity plate right on the, uh, the front here, uh, which I can see. First of all, its low capacity is 5,300 pounds. So they should come back to neutral. See that when you let them go? That should always happen. And they do have the icons that tell you what they actually do. That has to be there as well. Probably most importantly is my engine oil right here with the big yellow handle on it. I'll just give that a little clean and make sure it's up where it should be. And it is. We'll just raise it up. Notice when I rev the engine, it goes up faster. I'm gonna check all my brakes, my service brake forward and reverse. Excellent, back up. Good, great. All right, left and right, there's that pivot point steering that your trainer probably talked about. Left hand on the handhold, foot in the step, there's two right there. And as I get off, this hand basically falls on the third point right there, and I step off the machine while facing it. For parking and shutdown, you'd like to select an area where it's actually safe to do that. Uh, somewhere where it's on hard level ground, uh, you're not blocking any emergency exits or uh, firefighting gear. Just remember that it's not like driving your car. It steers from the rear, it steers very sharply, it's extremely heavy, and you've got a lot of obstructed vision with that mast in front of you. 